players, it's yeah. a bit tough for them to, to see exactly where they are. Yes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, race to eight. And it's alternating break. Oh, it's a race to seven. Absolutely right. This is a loser side. Yeah, we uh, we can't even c keep our act together. That's okay. We'll do a song yeah, and dance it's a, later it's, on. It's a free stream. You yes, get what sir. you pay for. Right, you know. exactly. Steve to break. Fargo rate doesn't give uh, Mr. Punsalang much of a choice. Uh, a chance, sorry, in this yes. race. Yes. The only one that really beats Steve Akins is Steve Akins. Yeah. That's a pretty respectable score, 668 for a part-time, part-time pool Absolutely. Boy. Yeah. He's got 10 kids. I didn't know that. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Please. And 2,000 he teaches. So. And he teaches a bunch on top of that. Yep. So. Yeah. All right. He's pushing, I think he's right at 60 years old. Yes, I think he's playing, by the way, with an old Tad cue. Oh, really? He's yeah. had it forever, yeah. He's had it for a very, very long time. Yeah. Steve's the type of guy, you know, he knew all the old players. He played with Swanee here in yeah. San Diego. He knew him very well, in fact. They come from the same generation of people. Swanee would have been similar in age, right? No. Yeah. No, Swanee died uh, 21 years oh, ago. Right, he was right. 52. He'd be 52, about 73. 70, yeah. I uh, had an opportunity to sit and talk to Johnny Archer, and he told me about oh, the night. They were busy. Yeah, yeah, they were tight. Yeah, yeah the really. night. Well, they roomed together when they were on the road, yeah. he and Swanee. Yeah. And he told me about the night where they set to meet in the morning to have breakfast uh, that weekend on the camel tour, and that was the weekend, unfortunately, where Swanee passed away. And uh, he, he says it was one of the most influential days of his life. They were tight. They were, they yeah. were, uh, yeah. Swanee's biggest claim to fame was when he won that, uh, I think it was the last call for nine ball in Atlantic yeah. City. Yeah, Atlantic City, yeah. That was a big table, $25,000. Yep. Around 1982. Yep. It's a monster tournament back then, you know. It's a monster tournament now. Right. Yeah, so. He was looking to Massey between the three and four, but he didn't get enough speed. He hit it a little too uh, hard. This causes the English sort of to cancel itself out and straighten the ball, and that's what happened to him. He seemed to me to address that ball a bit fast. Steve's looking for the path to the three. He does want to run into the four, so he might opt to a, for a three-nine combo if that's on. Yeah, he, he looked at the four. The four was in his way. So he's looking now at either playing safe or playing that nine in the bottom left corner. He's got nothing to lose because the seven, eight can go. Yeah. And there you go. That's there you one go. on the, in the books. With me is Mark Griffin, for those of you who don't recognize that uh, gentleman's voice on the commentator. I almost said commentating booth, yeah. but we're not <laughs> quite sitting in <laughs> no booth, booth, are we? No booth We're yet. boothless. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're sitting right next to the streaming table and uh, watching it both live and on the TVs that Steve Kwan is controlling. Brand new computer. Brand first, new computer. First had to, is it working? Amazing. You built it. That's why I said it's amazing. <laughs> that it still works. <laughs> hey, listen, one day down. Yeah. One down. Go. Well, we needed to. <laughs> yeah, we had to uh, upgrade of our a lot of our equipment for uh, streaming at the yeah. Nationals. And uh, we're going to be putting some uh, streaming equipment in the, uh, the new pool hall I opened up. So we're having at all kinds of events there. We're having a... U.S. Open 8-ball, U.S. Open 10-ball, and U.S. Open 1-pocket uh, all during this next year. And we have a monthly tournament. So we're having the Women's NAPT National Championship. That's in November. Got a lot of things happening. So. Make sure to visit Griff's on the Cater Boulevard in Las Vegas if you haven't. One of the best new rooms anywhere in this nation. Yeah, it's, it's a nice room. 
I like it. Yeah, it's very, very, very classy. All right. We well, love football shows. <laughs> it no, shows I, through I, these events and through uh, the room that you have yeah. now. Steve got a little bit straight on the two. You, you, you might want to oh, follow okay. yeah, between the six up. and uh, nine uh, in order to get to oh. that four. He was a little straighter than we thought, so he opted to stay low. Follow a little bit forward for his angle on that five. Okay. You know, Steve Siegel always said, why move the ball unless you really have to? And yeah. He didn't have to, so he didn't move it. That's that Filipino cough you saw just now. You see Bustamante do it too, and Efren Reyes does it too, that <laughs> when I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, this game is very simplistic yes. by design, and that's nothing wrong with that at no. all. Again, if anyone, he reminds me of the way Siegel used to play. It's the same sort of movement of the ball. Move it a little. Don't uh, don't use rails unless you have to. Don't run into balls unless you have yeah. to. And keep making them. Yeah. Yep. Oh, he came a little straight, and he well knows yeah. it too. But he'll go on the underneath yeah, and play to the top left. Yeah, he came right way the wrong line. Completely. Yes, wrong line. Yes. I was talking earlier about the runway to a ball mm -hmm. where any place you stop along that runway is a good shot. Yeah. But he seemed to have crossed the runway oh right yeah. now and landed it across the runway. And for that, he pays. He missed. Distance can be your enemy any single time. Enrique Punsalan coming to the table. With the nine ball, he wants to cut it into the side. That puts the cue ball loose, so we have to control it up and down the middle of the table to make sure it doesn't get near any pocket. Just like that, up and down the table in the middle. It is Steve Aiken's break. So, Mark, you're staying around for tomorrow, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Stay yeah. Here? Good. Yeah, I drove down. We had a whole bunch of uh, Amy uh, from my office, her right. boyfriend Ryan, Good. and then Mary Kaufman and her husband came down. So we got the whole contingency here. Good. You staying in La Mesa? No, I actually drove drove my motorhome down and parked across the street. Oh yeah, I think I saw it in the parking lot yeah. actually. In the other parking lot, yeah. parking lot outside is full. Yes. <laughs> Here's the next event we have coming up. It's the U.S. Open Straight Pool Championship. It's held at Pool Table Magic, April 10th through 14th. It's in Connecticut. This is one day after the uh, event that App Appleton, Darren Appleton is doing at the uh, Steinway Billiards, his World Pool Series. So you have the Allen Hopkins show and a one-day one break. Then everybody goes to Steinway Billiards, plays Appleton's event for four days, then a one-day break. Come here? And, uh, oh, Connecticut. Yeah, play the case would be play straight but well they're only 100 miles apart so it's great right so you the pool players have uh, steve broke but got yeah. uh, unfortunate on the two now the two will go into the left pocket but because the the chances of doing so from the one are so slim i think he'll opt to separate the cue ball and the one ball leave the cue ball up table play the one ball down table hide it be behind the two, seven, and nine balls. Got to shoot over a ball. Got to be a little careful. Yeah. You might that's actually kick at the one, That's too, what I, it, well, I, I would, no, you know, the chances are if you can hit it straight or kick at yeah. it, I go kick straight every single yeah. time. Hit it first. And oh. Yeah, see, he put, he tried to play a see, safety, I but it leaked out completely. And that I'll may be because he was shooting over that yep. five ball. Still, even now, Enrique can draw towards the three. Yep. If he bumps the three, that two goes. If he goes too much, too far. The nine may go. And that's what he was looking at. 
left-handed, so it's a bit easier for him to pull off that shot. But see, he came off the wrong line. He did break him up, but he didn't really move the two into an advantageous position. What would Francisco Bustamante do? <laughs> I know what Enrico would do, and that is get out the extension for his cue. He's just playing safe. He is. And it's the smartest thing to do right I now. Think he doesn't so. have a shot. He's easy to let the cue ball wild. Oops. That is not a save. That, that was a no. Yeah. That was a poke and hope. Yeah. 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 He didn't even cut the two. No, he didn't. Yeah. Exactly. I'm guessing Steve wants to leave the cue ball down by the seven and nine and move the two way up table. Unless, unless he's looking at that nine ball, he's really eyeing the combo on the nine. He's looking to see exactly where the two clears the seven. And I think that's what he's going for. I don't think he's looking at the nine. Yeah. Oh, he's just playing safe. I think he was going for the nine, believe it or not. He just didn't clear the seven as much as he wanted to. His body language says that he sort of slumped afterwards. Remind me, Mark, to move that stool where the players are sitting because they positioned the stool right in front of us and we can't see the table now. We can no. only see the screen. Yeah. It was on the other side, so. Well, they kept bam bumping into the table that the oh cameras Oh, right, with on, the cameras, so yeah, yeah, not a good idea. So. It looks like we have more earthquakes than we yeah. normally have here. Yeah. Nice shot. Even got rewarded with bumping into the three, but... Still left the three in a position that he doesn't want. How are you doing these days, Mark? Are you feeling good? You I'm feeling good? pretty good, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Both you and I had some challenges recently, so I'm good to it's good to hear that you're you're doing good. Well, I learned a new appreciation for nurses. Ah, well, <laughs> I did too, to be honest with you. I did too. Steve's looking at separating the balls, put the three on the side cushion and the cue ball on the side cushion. A little harder than he wanted, but he might get lucky behind the four. He's begging the ball to stop. Rika seems the type to bank it. He doesn't want to bring out his jump key at this point. He'll hit into the rail. Again, a bit hard, and because of that, he left the cue ball and the three ball in a position where both can be made. Sorry, the three can be made using a cue ball. Ooh, ah, those are the that's the Dominguez table <laughs> right there. Great field of players this year, uh, to name a few. Yeah. Bustamante is here, and Mike Messi. A few of the Filipino players, Romil Gallego, Rodney Morris is here again, and Oscar Dominguez both played last year in the finals. Vilmos. Vilmos Foldish, yeah. yes. I actually yes. picked him to win it. So. Yeah, you know, Vilmos has been doing real well yeah. lately, especially on the uh, Mez Tour. Yes. He's playing very well on the Mez Tour. But, you know, he lived in Vegas, so he played in New Rome, and he played around uh, that area. So I'm sure you know his game very well. He's a very consistent shot. He is. 
Yeah, he's very uh, focused most of the time. I yeah. haven't seen him throw fits. Ooh, that's not a good uh, hit. Look at the speed in which he shot that. And the pool gods are smiling <laughs> on uh, Mr. Punsalang right now. Steve is already talking to the crowd, complaining about this fluke shot that went in. And he missed wow. that nine ball. He got so happy about that fluke <laughs> <laughs> ball that he made that he missed the nine ball. Bank it. Straight down. Play the speed. That was a good save. It speed was, was but the speed is up. And I told yeah. you, this table seems to be a bit faster yeah. than most of the other tables for whatever reason. is on the board. 2-1. Yeah. Two and to it's one. in Rika's break. bunch of spectators you can't see yeah, them around the table quite a few rail birds and a lot of people yeah. came to uh, to watch this it's it's one of the bigger events here in San Diego and they love to see some of the players yep. playing live to what time do you think you'll play today well at least 10 probably we'll probably have some matches could go another hour or two after that we're trying to get down to the last 48 or possibly 32 if you so. do, you'll start again at about 9.30, yeah. 10 tomorrow, yeah. well, depending on how many players are uh, in. Yeah, but I'm thinking we'll probably get down to the 48, so we'll, be, we'll have to start at 9. Okay. Because we'll have losers matches. We can yes. start those at 9. And if the brackets fall like we've done in pe previous years, uh, the losers can, can uh, start ahead of the winner's bracket by one round. Right. Yeah. Enrique sort of puffed up on that shot. Yes, Steve and got up. Steve I don't think he realized he made a didn't see ball. that. Yeah. He looked at the yeah. one ball. He thought, yeah. hey, he missed it. And yeah. <laughs> Enrique says, no, but I made the five. Yeah. He seems to be a bit jerky on his moves. He's, he's not quite smooth, not quite settled down yet. He's wondering if you can bury the one behind that seven. Just nick it, roll down, bury the one behind the seven, just like that. Just like that. This is a pretty easy one rail kick, but it looks like Enrique is going to the top left corner, at least trying to graze that one into there. Yeah, he, see got, he, he oh. got the cue ball right into that corner. And he Again, just, all he did was catch that one yeah, too, yeah. yeah and he's oh. hitting hard. I mean, you know, yeah. when, he, when he grazed that one so little, it, it, it releases the cue ball yeah. across the table. You have no control over it. And against a player like Steve, that could be dangerous. You give him a chance, he'll take it. A little short on that too. He wanted to be straight. It'll come above that three, make it down to give himself a chance on that six on the rail. Question is, does he want to come on the right hand side or simply float down between the nine and the rail? Yeah, he's looking at coming down to the right hand side of that six. Oh, I don't know about that. 
Wow. <laughs> and the pool gods are smiling yeah. oh, at yeah. you. The pool gods are smiling at you. It was interesting. Yep. Hit center of the ball. He'll float down to that eight. You don't hardly have to do anything. Nothing. Know. Just make that seven, float down to the eight. Just like that. Ooh. Pocket speed. If he'd have hit that with any speed, that wouldn't On have this table, yeah. it would have gone, yeah. Now he has to put a stroke on it. Three rail, it's around. Oh, two rail, it's draw. Like that. Not bad. That's uh, Ray Reyes coming into the booth. He's saying hello. It seems like, you know, what Steve wants to do is cut it to the pro side. So even if he misses, cue ball goes mm -hmm. up table, leaves yeah, the you line overcut in the it. middle. Yeah, overcut it a bit. He grazed it in. It's a slow bank into the left pocket. Two to two. Yep. You, you can't see it, but Steve's already starting to talk to the crowd and the player and everybody around him. send you some of the photographs from the past two days so you can put on your Facebook page Great. and yeah. promote the Swanee and Anki and your tournaments. We have always collaborated successfully. You no, I. you've done, us, done great service for Thank us. Thank you, sir. Steve Boy, to he, break. Yeah, he took off a lot on that. He did. Not he, did. He, he, he realized that when he shot it a bit harder, he, was, he wasn't making the one mm -hmm. in the side pocket, and he wanted to do the cut break into the side pocket. The table is completely open. The only problem right now is getting from the two to the three. Other than that, the table is open. The three does go He'll to make the top natural left. Shape yes, natural it. shape, three rails. Around, yeah. But Slow if he down. hits it, uh, see... Uh, it's a bit 50 yard line. I mean, no, no. Yeah. If he wants to cut it left, he can. I think he's going to try and make that four. I think he's playing safe then if he's doing that. Uh, no, that deceiving. You yes. just can't. We couldn't tell from here yeah. the angle that he had. And he did play the natural angle around after making it. Draw back one or two rails to that line. There's the two rail. Perfect. All you have to do is not stop the cue ball there. Draw back a bit. Then you'll get to the six. The seven is where they practically in the pocket. shoot over the seven but it's not terrible uh, 